one of the really valuable things that we learn in the beginning part of our yoga practice is about the breath. So just close your eyes and come to find your breath. Sometimes we forget in the mayhem of our daily life, we forget our, our core value or who we are is, is ease, is contentment, is joy, is happiness. And sometimes, again, the day, our daily life activities get us into a pretty contracted state. And it's the breath that allows us to come back to find that these essential uh, feelings, these essential emotions, this feeling of contentment. And as you breathe in and out through the nose, just see if you can soften your eyes and how that softening of the eyes allows you to soften the jaw and to create more fullness in your breath. Open your eyes and come to a lying down position with your knees bent. And as you do, as you lie down and take your hands just to your low belly area, allow your breath to expand that low belly area so fully. And feel how the breath has as you draw the breath in, you expand into the palms of the hands. And as you exhale the breath, you can just use, use a slight amount of pressure to draw the navel back to the spine. Breathe in deep and really expand. Breathe out long and draw from the navel back to the spine. And again, breathe in deep. And breathe out long. Draw your right knee in toward your chest and interlace your fingers uh, in the front of your shin bone. Just pause there. Now see about activating your right toes. And as you spread your toes, imagine that you're just kind of pressing back with the right foot. So the whole right leg now is very active. Toes are spread. You're reaching the heel back as you pull the thigh in with your hands and release your right leg down. Do that with the opposite leg. So as you plant your right foot, take your left leg up, interlace your fingers, and first just draw the thigh in a little bit closer to your ribs and reach your heel away as you spread your toes. And just start to feel how you get a nice lumbar curve through that action. So in our yoga classes, we work to get length in the spine. As you reach your foot back, that gives your spine more length by just creating this natural curve in the spine, in the lumbar area especially. Release your feet down. And with both feet down, take your feet as wide apart as your mat is. So we get this axial elongation in the practice through the poses. As you take your knees over to the right side just a little bit, you start to twist the spine. And that's another action that we do in all the yoga classes. And lift your knees up and take your knees the opposite direction. Just a real easy, gentle twist. We twist to the right. We twist to the left. So that's three different ways that we are able to move the spine. 
and come back to a kneeling position. So roll yourself over to come to a kneeling position. And in that kneeling position, if you need a little padding for your knees and double fold your mat, but come up to a kneeling position. And in the kneeling position, take your arms up, interlace your fingers and reach to the side. So here's two more stretches that we do, always do in the yoga class. So we get a side stretch to the right and a side stretch to the left. So the axial elongation, the twist, the elongation on the side body and release down, come back to all fours position now. In all fours position with your toes tucked under, inhale, lift your sit bones and draw your heart forward. Exhale, draw from the navel back. Once again, working on axial elongation, trying to get the spine as long as possible by refining the curves. Inhale, lift your sit bones, draw your heart forward. Exhale and draw from the navel back to the spine. And one more time, inhale, take your heart forward, lift your chin and exhale, draw from the navel back. Make your way to a standing position, however that is for you. So as you walk to the front of the mat, have your feet hip distance apart and place your hands right above your knees. With your knees bent, inhale, draw your heart forward and exhale, look in toward your heart. Do that two more times. Inhale, just move the spine like we were doing in all fours position. Exhale and draw back. And one more, inhale. So you do this back bending action and exhale, it's more of a forward bending action. Place your hands to your low back and rise up. Do a back bending action by taking your arms up to the sky, take the hands wide apart, reach back and exhale. Take your hands down to your shin bones. So you did a back bend and now this forward bend, don't go too deep and let's just pause here as you inhale and lengthen your spine, exhale and soften. And two more times, inhale, you rise up, you pulse up with the in breath and you draw deeper in the out breath. And one more time, inhale, rise up, and exhale, draw down. With knees bent, place your hands to your low back and rise up. So we've done axial elongation, we've done twisting right and left, we've lengthened the side body, right side, left side, and we've done a little back bending and forward bending. So all the moves that we do in the yoga class. So let's combine them in these poses. Inhale, take your arms up and come to a back bend. Reach up and reach way back. Exhale, take your hands down to the earth with your hands alongside your ankles. Step your right leg back. Balance yourself by taking your hands right to the top of the knee. And in this high lunge, just balance yourself to do a back bend now. Reach your arms up, take your hands wide apart, reach your gaze up, reach your hands back. Exhale, take your hands down. Step your back foot forward. Place both hands to the low back and rise up. Reach up to the sky and way back in a standing back bend. Now come to the forward bend as you bow forward and place your hands alongside your ankles to take your left leg back. Keep your back foot planted. Balance yourself by taking your hands to right above your knee. With your back leg lifting, your back inner thigh lifting, settle your front thigh down more. Take your arms up 
and take your hands wide apart, open your chest, exhale, release your hands down, step your back foot forward, place both hands to the low back and rise up, inhale, reach up and back, exhale, forward fold, place your hands alongside your ankle, step to a plank position, in your plank position, just pause and reflect on the breath now that you're engaging so fully. See how you can expand the fullness of the breath even more. And it's on the exhale breath that we come close to and then touch the earth. On the in breath, a baby back bend. Inhale, lift your heart up. Draw the heads of the arm bones back. Exhale and soften. Two more times. Inhale with the fingers spread. The fingers or the palms pulling in toward each other. Elbows pulling in. Lift up. Exhale, soften. The slower you go, the more you develop that strength. So inhale. Let the breath. Help to lift you up and exhale, draw down. Come through all fours position. And in all fours position, step the right foot right between your hands. With the right foot between your hands, just settle in again. See if you can draw a nice uh, engagement in the back leg to bring your pelvis down. Inhale, take your left arm up and reach it over to the side. So once again, we just uh, get this elongation to the side body. Reach over as you drop in a little bit deeper and release your hand down. Come to all fours position. Step your left foot right between your hands. Drop in again. And inhale, take your right arm up, spread your fingers, reach over to the side as you get this length to the side body. And come back to step your back foot forward and place your hands to your low back to root down and rise up. Reach your arms up with your hands wide apart. Exhale, bend both knees. Take the tops of the thighs back. Take the hands even wider apart. Maybe you can settle down a little bit lower. So from this position, step your right foot back. With your right foot back, take your hands wider apart. Reach your heart up to the sky. Exhale, place your hands in front of your heart in a prayer position and do a easy twist. Just turn your right elbow toward your left outer knee. And inhale, come back to the pose you were in. Step your back foot forward. Come to the chair pose again. Step your left foot back. Reach your hands up and slightly back. Exhale. Place your hands in front of your heart with the hands really engaging, the fingertip tops pressing nicely. Twist and take your left elbow to the outer right knee. Inhale, come back to the position we were in. Reach your arms up. Step your back foot forward. Come back to the chair position and root down to rise up. Exhale, release your hands. Just pause, close your eyes. Come back to the breath. Come back to that softness of your eyes. 
just by noticing that, you start to notice how your, your other facial muscles soften nicely as well. It allows you to attune more fully to the breath. And with your eyes bright, step wide on your mat. And as you step wide, place your hands right at your hip points and draw your elbows in toward each other. So you get this nice opening of the upper chest. Turn your right toes out Bend your right knee. Interlace your fingers behind your back. With your fingers interlaced, draw your elbows in. Open the chest. Lean back toward the back leg first to get even more opening, this back bending possibility, before coming to the forward fold. Then draw down toward the inner knee. Keep your back leg strong. Soften down even more with the back leg strength. Take your interlaced fingers slightly off your pelvis. Reach them up. Let the heart settle down. Place your hands to your low back. Press your flesh down to inhale and rise up. Parallel your feet. Place your hands back to your hip points. Hug your elbows in and open your chest. Look up with that softness of the eyes. Exhale with a slight bend to your knees. Bow forward. It's an easy forward fold. To soften nicely. Let your right hand just touch the floor. You can bend your knees quite a bit to do that. Keep your left hand to your pelvis and twist. Turn yourself toward the left side as you have this strong rootedness of the right hand. And release your hand down with both knees bent. Now place your left hand down to the floor. Place your right hand to the low back or the pelvis. Twist again. So all these actions that we're doing it with the spine, elongating the spine, getting a stretch from side to side, twisting the spine like we are doing now, the back bending, the forward bending, all makes the yoga practice create this nice refinement and length of the spine. So place both hands down with the knees bent, hug your feet in toward each other to place the hands to your low back and rise up. Very nice. Place your hands right at the hip points. Turn your left toes out. Look at the lineup of the front foot to the back arch. Bend your knee. Keep your back leg really strong. Interlace your fingers again to the low back. Hug your elbows in. Open your chest. Exhale. Soften down. Keep your back leg really plugged in. And that softness that you get, again, with the breath, the ease of the breath, that allows you to go a little bit deeper in the pose. Keep the back leg so strong as you root down and lift yourself up out of the pose. Parallel your feet again. Bend your knees slightly. Place your hands right at your pelvic points with the elbows hugging in. Draw into a forward fold. Take your right hand down again and do just an easy twist here. Turn your gaze toward the left. Come back to center. Place the left hand down. Take your right hand to the low back. Same thing. Easy twist. Come back to center. Both hands down. Hands are wider than shoulder width apart. Pulse with the breath. 
On the exhale breath, soften down. On the inhale breath, rise up slightly. Just move with your breath. Exhale, soften down. Inhale, move with your breath and pulse up. Exhale, soften. Keep your knees bent, your feet pulling in toward one another as you place your hands to your low back and rise up. Step your feet so that they're hip distance apart at the front of the mat and pause. Feel the stability as you root down from the pelvis to the earth. You can stay on the mat, or if you'd like to step off the mat, we'll balance now. And as you find a place to balance, see if you can create a nice softness in your gaze again. The softness of your eyes so affects your breath. So as you root down through the left foot, see if you can get a little bit more lightness on the right foot. You can come to the tip tops of the toes on the right foot, or if you'd like to take the right foot up off the floor, you can lift your knee up and just hold on there. Come to a tree pose by taking your foot to your inner thigh. And as you're ready, just expand really fully. So as you root down through the standing leg, you get this nice opening in the chest. Nice ease to the breath. And keep your eyes soft. Your facial muscles soft. And as you're ready, release your hands down. Release your foot down. And with your feet parallel, distribute the weight evenly. Close your eyes and once again, with the eyelids so soft, Notice how that affects the breath. The breath in balance poses get so contracted. See if we can come to what feels like a very natural and free breath. Start to take more weight now to your right leg. And pause there. Or lift your left leg up. Keep a nice stability in the standing leg. And park your foot to the inner thigh, inner leg somewhere. And as you root down from the pelvis to the earth, see about reaching your arms up to expand so fully. Keep the standing leg rooted down as you open up nicely. And slowly release your hands down and release your foot down. Come to Tadasana where your feet are hip distance apart and bend both knees. Let your hands slide down to right above your knees and inhale, move your spine. Draw your heart forward, lift your chin. Exhale, draw from the navel back to the spine. And two more. Inhale. And exhale. And one more. Inhale. And exhale.
and come to a seated position. Sometimes sitting on a blanket or a block might work best for you, but check it out for yourself. Have your feet straight in front of you and just admire a nice spread to the toes. I always like a little elevation in these seated pose, poses as you sit tall. Interlace your fingers and reach your interlaced fingers up and just elongate the side body by drawing over to one side and back and draw over to the opposite side and back. So with that length, let's do a little bit of a twist. Release your hands down and bend your right knee. Take your left arm up, twist toward the right knee, and just take the hand to the outer knee. Now, we're not going to go really deep in the twist today. Draw yourself into the twist and soften down. Keep your extended left leg very active. Draw your heart maybe a little bit more. Now see if you can take your eyes to move your gaze over your right shoulder. And come out of the twist. Come back to Dandasana where our feet are straight forward, our legs are engaged. We want to keep the engagement of the right leg as we bend the left knee. And as you plant the left foot, take your arm up, the right arm up, and just take the hand down to the outer knee. Invite a nice, easeful breath here. Softness in the facial muscles, starting with the softness in the eyes. Breathe in and out so fully. Slowly take your gaze over your left shoulder. Let your exhale breath take you a little bit deeper. and come out of your twist to Dandasana with your legs forward. In the staff pose, press your fingertips down to get even more length from the pelvis all the way to the armpit. You get this nice length. Keep that as you take your arms up again. Interlace your fingers again and reach to one side. Reach to the opposite side. And maybe notice now that you've done the twist, you can go a little bit deeper here. Maybe your breath can expand more fully in one side than the other. You see how you can just even that out slightly. Come back to the center and place your feet in a prayer position. So with your feet pressing in toward each other, take your hands to your shin bones and lift your knees up. Press your feet more fully in toward each other as you bend your elbows and draw down. And inhale, rise up, step wide with your feet. If you are on elevation, you can get rid of that for now. 
with your feet wide apart and your knees bent, twist over to the right side, take both hands down to the mat, come to your forearms, and on your forearms, extend your back leg. So tuck your back toes under, lift your back knee up, so your back leg is straight, Draw your left ribs a little bit closer to the mat. Now push into your forearms so that you lift your pelvis up. So you can turn your left ribs a little bit more. And release your pelvis down. Bend both knees as you lift yourself up with your feet planted. Come to the opposite side. Come to your forearms, press your forearms down. Draw the left ribs up, the right ribs down. And do a little bit more of a twist with your back toes tucked under. Lift your pelvis up and soften down. One more cycle now, lift your knees up with the knees bent, come to the opposite side, press your forearms down, straighten your back leg with your toes tucked under. Now start to straighten your front leg as well. So with the back foot tucked under, the edge of your right foot pressing down, press your forearms down, Lift up and exhale, soften down. Come over to the opposite side, so bend your knees, plant your feet, twist yourself, come to your forearms, tuck your back toes under. Invite your breath to get this nice twisting action before extending your top leg, so both legs are straight. Press your forearms, lift your pelvis up, twisting again, and release down. Lift yourself up, lie down with your knees bent. With your knees bent, place your right ankle to the outer left knee. And just pause there. So rather than pulling the thigh in, let's just see if we can keep the lifted leg very active. The bent leg that's pressing the, that would be the left foot, with the left foot pressing down and pulling in toward your pelvis. See if you can keep a nice action in your legs. And again, today, rather than holding on to the leg, we're just going to just uh, stay in this pose here. With the left leg very active, press down through the left foot to lift your pelvis up. And exhale, soften down, take the pelvis back to the earth. Release your right foot to the earth. Take your left ankle to the outer knee. Draw from the pelvis all the way to the knee as, as if you're trying to get a little bit more length there in the femur, in the thigh bone. And as if you're trying to lift your ankle actually off the right knee, keep that action going on. Pull in from the right foot to the pelvis. Breathe in, soften the outer body. If our essential nature is this nature of contentment and happiness and joy and ease, 
The aspect of yoga that most brings us to our essential nature is the breath. So find the fullness of the breath, the ease that the breath gives you before drawing into a deeper pose and lift your pelvis up. All those actions, the legs, you maintain as you lift the pelvis up. Release your pelvis down. We started with both feet on the floor and the knees bent. And let's end by just pulling the right knee in. Give that, give yourself a nice stretch and notice a difference after your practice. Now reach the right foot back while still holding on to the shin or the bottom of the knee there. Just engage nicely. Release your foot down and let's come to the opposite side. So pull the left knee in first. And now engage the leg. So you're actually pushing the thigh away from you with the action of the leg while still Pulling the shin bone in. It's a strong action to just reinforce the lumbar curve. And release your foot down and stretch your legs out with the arms alongside your body, with your palms open. Just soften your facial muscles. Attune to your breath. with your eyelids soft. Notice how all of your facial muscles soften, your jaw softens. Your breath becomes so much more easeful. Breathe in deep and breathe out long. Breathe in deep and breathe out long. Breathe in deep and 
and breathe out long. With your knees bent, plant your feet. Take your arms up and over your head and pause there. Draw over to your side and pause there. Slowly lift yourself up and pause there. Come to a seated position. Place your hands right in front of your heart to our true essence. We bow. Namaste.